Hey, what's up, guys? We are back again with the fastest Psycho Hog Runner deck in Clash Royale that actually works. We've got a 1.9 Elixir deck with four 1 Elixir cards. So no matter what, we can cycle four cards, get quickly back to a Hog Runner with only four Elixir spent. So that means I'm able to get multiple Hog Runners on the map with Ice Golems, and even if they've got Tornado or Fisherman, they're not going to be able to stop me. So let's go embrace the memes and assert dominance with this Hog Runner Fast Cycle deck. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you never miss out on any of the daily videos. And a huge thank you to everyone that's using credit code SIRTAG. All the money goes directly back into the channel, making videos like this possible. Hey, so getting into this one, we got the 1.9 Elixir Fast Cycle, and you guys already know. We are ready to spam our opponents at every chance we get. I think Ice Spirit is... Whoa, Ice Spirit's going to bait out a Mega Minion. I thought it was going to be worthless. So I was like, maybe we just get like 100 chip damage there. But this man went for Mega Minion already. He's down a bit of Elixir. We can hog right on the other side. And we know exactly what this is. Skeleton King plus Mega Minion definitely means Graveyard with Skeleton King. So it's not going to be the easiest matchup. But if we play it perfectly... Good morning, Starshine. I believe that we can make it happen for the memes. So I want a cannon early on so we can make sure that that's going to be able to disrupt the graveyard. We're dropping it here so it's also able to pull the Skeleton King and kill the graveyard skeletons. That would be ideal. Oh, yeah, you're going to poison before your graveyard. That's interesting. As you can see, I'm a genius. That is, that is a wild play, my man. You are one wild child. Electric Spirit is clutch against graveyard. As you guys are seeing, if I didn't have that, I think we would have just straight up lost the game. We cycled two ice golems there. Wait, is the Fisherman going to lock onto the Ice Golem instead of the Hog Rider? If the Ice Golem gets a little bit further up, I think the Fisherman targets that instead of the Hog. So please make that work. Please make that work. He's going to zap these instead because he knew that the Fisherman wouldn't be able to shut us down. Let's go, fam. And the King Tower targets the Ice Golem instead of the Hog Rider, so then the Hog Rider gets an extra hit on the tower. This is phenomenal stuff. So I like logging on top of Zappies because it's going to give us chip damage, and it's going to eliminate the Zappies to the point that he only gets one hit on our tower. Pretty solid stuff for us. As you guys already know, this meme deck, it works well if you can outcycle your opponent's counters like Fisherman. So I think I can maybe do that, or we can Ice Golem ahead so then the Fisherman doesn't lock on to the Hog Rider. So I'll roll with that right now, quite literally. When I hit him up with the Hog Rider, if you want to go in for a Graveyard into an Electric Spirit and a Cannon, you're going to be such a sad panda. Get over here! I wonder if that targets the Ice Golem or if it targets the Hog Rider. You know what? Not target what we wanted to. Definitely did not do what we wanted to. But he overcommitted. He dropped his Fisherman, Zappy, Skeletons. He dropped almost all of his Elixir there. And I know that since we have all these cheap one-cost cards, four of them to be exact, we can outcycle him and get into a better card position. So I'm going to use the Fire Spirit. It's going to jump onto the Zappies. We know that he's likely going to have a limited amount of answers here. I'm going to log the Skeletons or Skeleton Army or whatever he wants to drop here. I am ready to roll right through. Oh, you're going to go for Skeleton King. You guys already know that our best bet is just going for the Ice Golem here. It's going to get pulled onto the Skeleton King afterward. If you want a Graveyard in the other... I think that the Electric Spirit's going to come up very clutch. But notice the cannon position, right? It should be able to finish off the Fisherman. And we're going to take a limited amount of damage in that same lane. We want him to go off his lane at all points if possible. Because if that happens, then he's not able to get cohesive counter push. Like these Zappies and Mega Minion, it's not going to go towards the tower that he's already weakened. So that's really important for me to be able to win this game. Okay. All right, dude. I see how it is. I see what you're doing out here. Maybe we can go for a log and start to get some cheeky chip. We know that that Hog Rider is not going to give us enough damage, but I think the next Hog Rider will be able to. Because we have such a fast cycle, we should be able to win right here and now. I believe that we can do it. I believe that we will win. I'm going to log here with three seconds remaining. All I need is that Hog Rider hit, and we walk away with the win with the Skeleton King and Graveyard surrounding our towers. And that's the power of this deck. Even if they've got Fishermen, even if they've got good answers to you, because you've got a 1.9 fast cycle, you get rid of all of them. And when they have no counters, you get free damage. Hey, so jumping into this game, we're sauce out of good luck, and we're, this guy is from Russia. So you know what, dude? In Russia, towers hit you. I guess towers hit us anyway, right? I don't, I don't know what I was trying to say there, guys. <laughs> but it's Russia, so you better be scared of our Hog Riders, because they're scary. Alright, what are we going to do? I want to go Ice Golem and then hit him up with an Electric Spirit. Usually, Electric Spirits cycled aggressively at the river like this give our opponent an open arms opportunity to activate King Tower. But he's going to go for an uh, aggressive Golden Light. He's going to go for Goldilocks and try to get damage. What are, what are, why are you not using the ability? I guess using the ability wouldn't have given him anything anyway. Oh, this is a Mega Knight. This is perfect, guys. If you ever play against Mega Knight, you can activate King Tower with this placement of the cannon and then go in for a Fire Spirit afterwards. So we will show you the pathway to success. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. We will show you victory. Oh, wait, we activated King Tower with the Firecracker anyway. 
<laughs> Just trust me, guys. That would have activated King Tower at the Mega Knight, all right? Are you sure about that? We vibing out here. I'm gonna go hit him up with the Hog Rider and log as quickly as we can. We need that Ice Spirit to stay alive, and it jumps onto the goblins that we're gonna die anyway. Ice Spirit, why were you so impatient? You could have waited like two seconds, giving me so much better value, but you had a runa for me there. So I'm gonna Fire Spirit as well, just to try to get more tricky chip. Hit him up with an Electro Spirit because it looks like he's going to eat the Fire Spirit. Dude, are you going to eat every single snow cone? Are you going to eat every single flavor of ice cream? He ate the Fire Spirit. He ended up eating... <laughs> what are these other flavors? I know that the Fire Spirit has to be strawberry, but the Ice Spirit? I don't know. Is it like blueberry? Because then you have the Electro Spirit that's a deeper shade of blue. These are the questions that we don't have answers to, guys. So I need to go for a Logarino. Have to hit up that as quickly as we can. If that cannon falls, we are going to fall flat on our face too. But because our deck's defenses are rock solid with the fast cycle, you guys won't even have to worry. We got this on lock, baby. I'm going to go for a log. I would love to hit a Goblin Gang too. I should have went for a Hog Rider, then try to bait out the Goblin Gang that way. But likely he would have went for a Mega Knight, right? So we're still chilling. We're still vibing. Oh, that Golden Knight though. That thing is so annoying. Pro players are consistently saying it's the best card in Clash Royale. For good reason. Hello, 911 emergency. There's a handsome guy in my house. Wait a second, cancel that. It's only me. And the only way that I think I'm going to win this is going in for a hog rider at the exact moment that he goes in for a Mega Knight and getting a hit. I need that to happen, but it's just not happening. Dude, how did that hit my tower? What? Sheesh, that's unfair, man. Okay, I think we are able to outcycle your Mega Knight and get value this way. So I'm going to go for the double cannon sauce. Have to hit you up with a log. Give me one hog rider hit. That's all I need. Help me. And then I log you out. We got this defense, guys. Believe in me right now. Believe in the memes. Believe in the dreams. Believe in our destiny. So we're going to go for a Ice Golem. Hit him up with the Hog Rider again. Skeleton's off to the side because we need that uh, Golden Knight to go towards the other tower. And we're logging to win the game, baby. We're putting him to shame. And that Mega Knight deck, even though you got Rage in the weirdest deck I've ever seen, it's not happening. And he was such a sad panda there, too. Hey, we got a game against Ale. What is going on, my dude? I'm going to Ice Spirit and we're going to see what's happening. You guys never know what your opponent's got. So it's better for you to wait a little bit if you don't have the Hog Rider. Because if you spam with like random cycle cards and then they figure out that you got the fastest cycle imaginable, they're going to play a bit more defensive and then you're going to lose the game. So it's important for them to just overcommit once. Wait, did we glitch out the Fisherman? What? I glitched the game. I broke Clash Royale. I just broke Clash Royale. This is awesome. I'm happy about it, guys. I'm not going to go in that lane for the rest of the game. <laughs> I've never seen that happen before in my life. Oh, my goodness. I just broke the game. I literally did it. <laughs> I hope I can win this. <laughs> that fisherman is so useless. Help me. Help me. <laughs> you know what's satisfying? I mean, double ice sculpts headbutt the tower now while the fisherman's just chilling there doing nothing. Oh, my goodness. I, I don't want him to go and unstuck this fisherman because if he drops something here, he could unstick the fisherman. What the heck are we witnessing? I've never seen that before in my entire life. Five years of playing Clash Royale, guys. This is a Statue of Liberty for the fisherman. <laughs> it's a beautiful sight to be seen. All right, if I had Tornado, we would go... Oh, no. Wait, it's glitched. It's still not moving. No, he unstuck the fisherman. Oh, no. <laughs> I really don't want to lose this game because that was too memey, guys. We can't lose this game. We have to win this game. <laughs> oh, my goodness. You know what? He's going to fireball me. He's playing this pretty well. I'm going to log. Definitely have to cannon again. That one little skeleton, though, bro. That little Larry giving us the massive scary. Oh. Okay, he is losing right now, but I can't guarantee that that will happen forever. What a wild adventure that we're on here. Generally, you need to go ice golem with a hog rider every single time that you can, because otherwise the, uh, the fisherman is just going to go yoink the hog, and that's terrible for you. So, we'll see what happens here. Yeah, he's going to go and yoink the ice golem instead. That's great. Get over here! Why are you skeleton army too? What are you doing? Out of all the cards to do, that is probably not the vibe. Oh, you're going to Skeleton King, but you Skeleton King a little bit too early, right? Or too late, rather. I can Ice Gold and cycle two cannons. You can keep kiting the other side. This would be a vibe. I need to log on everything, though. There's there's like 
a limited chance of me winning this game. It all revolves around my defense here. So I'm going to log, hit him up with every single small card that I've got. Do we have it? Do we deliver the dominance? Do we come away with the victory? Oh my goodness. That piggy. That little piggy. No one loves a little piggy like that. Uh, Fisherman was cycled, so that was very spontaneous by our opponent. I think we could Ice Golem here. If the Hog Rider gets one hit, we can walk away the win. Let's go, baby! Not only did we glitch the game, but we won the game too. I have never seen that happen in my history of Clash Royale, and it was glorious. Hey, so getting into this one, we have no clue what our opponent's got, but he is a green machine, and I want to steal his Clover. I want to steal his luck, and maybe somehow we can become fortunate with the fastest cycle Hog Rider deck in the game. Oh, come on, dude. You're seriously running that card of all things? It's so broken, and Supercell needs to emergency nerf it, just like they did with Archer Queen. Obviously, he's not able to use the ability right now, and if he did, I, I wonder if we could activate King Tower. It would be pretty funny. Hogger is going to hammer down. Maybe one more hit. Oh, let's go, baby. That's exactly what I'm talking about. I'm going to Ice Spear on top of the Electro Wizard because it does not one-tap it anymore. I don't know if we're able to shut that down. The cannon is not reaching for the stars. My man. Cannon. My disappointment in you is utterly immeasurable. My day is not ruined because we're running through with the Hog Rider and we're going to make sure that we outpace any negativity out here. We're follow up with the Hog Rider quickly. Maybe we can log depending on what goes down. Disrupt the animation of your cards. Give us a Hog Rider hit, please. Let's go. That disruption was high key amazing. All right, I'm an Ice Spirit. Make sure the Bandit doesn't wiggle and jiggle. And oh, the Bandit did wiggle and jiggle because he went in for a print of log. What is this guy doing? Such a wild child. I think the Leap Barbarians die. Yeah, there's no way. There's no way that thing touches my tower. Get out of here, man. I'm able to Fire Spirit and Electric Spirit. The double duty right now. I wonder if we're able to chain onto the Electro Wizard. Ah, uh, if he had dropped the Royal Ghost a little bit earlier and comfortably closer to the tower, I think we would have been vibing. No, Ice Golem, you were too low. So then the tower is able to get hit. Oh, that's unfortunate. But he doesn't have much Elixir. I wonder if I Hog Rider here. There's a good chance that this is a good play. If I Hog Rider and you don't have Elixir for Elite Barbarians, you're going to take so many hits. Let's go. That's two hits out here. Also, why does this guy have 67 different, like, splash damage dealers? Because it's cool. Why? Who needs that? No, I thought I was smooth. But the ghost slipperly sneaked past us, secured the damage, and put us in a bad position. This would have been such an easy win, but we're still targeting the Valkyrie. What is up with those interactions? That was horrific. I don't know if you guys have ever had that experience before, but it is not a good vibe. Uh, we're going to go in for a Ice Golem and a Cannon afterward. We're going to pull everything off to the side. Definitely want to hit him up with a Log afterward. Maybe we're able to stop the Bandit too. Yes, sir. Fire Spirit afterward so the Bandit does not dash. It's going to dash onto the, uh, the Cannon, but it's fine at this point. We will just cycle more Cannons for the win. Obviously, when you're up Elixir, you're entitled to go in for the Hog Rider and spam them a little bit more. Log. Force out a Log from your opponent. Good stuff. We still haven't activated King Tower with the... Very aggressive Golden Knight boy, which is a bit concerning for me. I feel like I should do that every single day of the week. If you see the Golden Knight coming at you and you don't activate King Tower, you're a bit of a failure in my opinion. And I am no, uh, no saint here, guys. We are definitely uh, going to be calling ourselves a failure. How dare you? I'll cannon. Shut down the rest of the Electro Wizard. I want to break through that so bad. What? 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 Are you, are you kidding me right now? You cannot be rocket cycling me. This is uncalled for. You uncivilized scoundrel. I need to go in for an Electro Spirit, and hopefully you log this so that I can go in for more stuff. Please, Hog Rider, get through. Yes, sir. Now the next Hog Rider is going to be able to win us the game. Put him to shame. Actually, I just log in it with a game. <laughs> you're going down, and you're yelling timber, dude. GG, well played. <laughs> Peace out. Pleasure played against you, and tearing your towers to pieces. It looks like we stole all the luck from green, and we've won five games in a row with the memeiest deck ever. I can't believe how well this is working. Getting into this game, I'm going to rush through with the Hog Rider, and we're going to see what's happening. Hunter, okay. Definitely going to be a fast cycle deck. Maybe going to be an RG deck. So if that's going to be the case, I want to go and pull the Hunter all the way around the world. I don't know if that can work anymore, because he's got a lot of other stuff. But I am going to Ice Spirit, so we make sure the Hunter does not lock onto the cannon immediately. And then we can Fire Spirit, go for another Hog Rider here. We lose a lot of damage, and why is the Hog Rider going in front? Hog Rider, you are so ambitious today. You are so frisky and feisty. At least Electro Spirit chains on a tower, so... You know what? <laughs> I'll take what I can get. That was the worst Hog Rider I've ever done in my life, though. Let me know down below in the comment section if you guys have done that before. It is Mimi, and it is definitely not Dreamy. Maybe we can go for a Fire Spirit at the river and just get some cheeky chip that way. As you guys already know, that is my favorite card to cycle with this deck. 
Bruh. Gives you more chip damage than all the other spirits, and he whiffed it. Let's go, fam. He is an angry panda, and he is perfectly encapsulating his feelings with the imagery of the log emote. I wonder if he does it so often that he needs the log emote to show you guys how angry he is. <laughs> My man misses the log so often, that's the why he runs that emote. I'm going to go for a log here. We should be able to hit both of his units and show him both how it's done. And then activate King Tower. Oh my goodness. Let's go, guys. We're showing this man what we are made of. And we're teaching him how to hit his cards. Okay. Maybe we can go in for a Ice Spirit first. Because if we Ice Spirit, it's going to take the targeting from his spirit. And then we can log everything back to eliminate all of the damage. So it's still going to be beneficial for him because are you sure about that? he's able to go for a aggressive hunter or barbarians right after he defends after he drops log in one of those the hogger didn't get a hit how'd that even happen i thought it was gonna be beneficial for him i said it was gonna be beneficial for him but it ended up being really bad wow what the heck i'm getting lucky out here we know for a fact that he's gonna go for rail hogs i want to keep him at a limited amount of elixir oh he's still gonna go in he's still a savage sir so what i was hoping for <laughs> was him to spend elixir on defense and then have nothing for offense for that earthquake but it worked out wonderfully we got more damage on the tower than he did yes sir it don't matter if you got spells for us it don't matter if you got the earthquake cycle my dude we got the sauce we're gonna skeletons here just to eliminate the hunter firmly believe that he's gonna spell me uh real soon so i want to log on top of all of those real hogs and the tower at the exact same time is that gonna work out Guys, we got this game on lock, baby. With 16 seconds remaining, it's not even possible for him to break through. That must have been so sad for him. He was trying to break through, but he wouldn't even be able to cross the river with the real hogs and firecracker. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, and have an amazing rest of your day.